Hey guys, Big Red Three Tens here to give you his King of Trios review. Um, as y'all know, I'm a big fan of Chikara. I really enjoy the I really enjoy the promotion from start to finish, and I I have so so much fun um, watching this promotion. And this is pretty much their WrestleMania in a way. This is their biggest shows of the year. King of Trios is when they bring in the most talent. It's a three night show, and I gotta say, this year's was so much fun, so much fun. Now, there are a lot of very good matches on here. You didn't have that awesome Kota Ibushi, Generico, Nick Jackson, and I forget the fourth person four-way match from last year. But there's still a lot of great stuff on here. It's so much fun start to finish. So let's try this. This is night one. That, night two. Night three. Yeah, it's heavily BDK. The posters are very BDK happy. But I think that's part of the team, so I have really too much of a problem with it. Um, I'm not going to go to each match because I only have 10 minutes. But uh, I will say, for night one, you need to get this show. Don't just skip it because it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have a lot of very good matches. You must get this show. This show is so, 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 so much fun to watch. It's really fun from start to finish. And you need to see it to see the whole tournament. Um, Fist versus Matt Classic in the throwbacks might be the best comedy match I've seen in a long time. That was hilarious. Another thing that's close with it is Curry Man and Los Ice Cream versus El Oriental, Alebrije, and Cuyé. Let me talk about these three. Their, their team's called Peros Teman. El Oriental is around average size. Alebrije is huge, like he's comparable to the size of Torsas. Or it's a big show, I guess. I could use an example. And they have Cuyé, who's like four foot two, four foot zero. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome dynamic. And they make for a very fun team. That match was also hilarious. Little Size Creams were bullies. It was really funny. Kept picking on Kuihei. Kuihei is very over, by the way. Um, the only match that really upset me was the Colony Air Form Gargano. I thought that would be a little better. Unstable Soccer Pro was the worst match. That was the worst match probably in all three nights. Because I, I don't really count Grizzly Redwood and Bertie a match. But this, this was not that good. Uh, Unstable's not that good. Team Friendly versus Big Japan surprised me. Big Japan surprised me a lot in this tournament. I did not think they would go that far. I, I thought Team Frightening would go to the... Everyone was picking Team Frightening and Team BDK in the finals. And I knew that was too predictable. I was partly right. Um, Team Big Japan, great throughout this whole tournament. That was a fun match. BDK versus Serian Portal and Sarah Del Rey. This match told a great story. Basically, Team Mexico backed out. So Team Osiris and Portal took their place. And the, rule, the thing was, since Jakara got to pick which team would fight them... Um, a BDK member thought they could pick their, their third partner, and they picked Sarah Del Rey, because obviously it was rigged. And they had a very fun match with Sarah Del Rey constantly getting the tag and trying to lie down for BDK, constantly breaking up her team own pin. Also, Port was over. Now, I didn't know any of the spoilers, and trust me, not knowing spoilers helps. It helps a lot. I seriously, seriously did not know the winners of any of these matches. And Osirian Portal for a second, actually, actually for that slight second, kind of, it's kind of like the Evan Bourne Sheamus thing, where you knew Sheamus was going to win, you knew BDK was going to win, but for that slight second, you had your suspense of disbelief. I had that here, and I was really excited. Um, first Family versus um, Team BDK was very, very good match, three and a half stars, I really enjoyed it. And the main events, the match of the night, the Young Bucks and Malachi Jackson versus the Futures now. You're going to get what you expect out of it. Malachi is a little sloppy. That's the only reason why I wouldn't quite give this four stars. But th this was still a very, very fun match. Probably the third best match in the whole tournament. So yeah, night one, I would give it 7.5. I think it's needed. Very much needed to see the whole show. So do not skip it. In fact, I might even give it a 7.75. No. Such a fun show. Okay, next we have night two. Night two is awesome. Night two is a great, great show. Burley and Grizzly Burley was really short. It was only like two minutes, so I'm not going to crap on that too much. Uh, Team Big Japan versus the Features Now was a lot of fun. Big Japan, in, in such little time, they packed so much action. It kind of reminds me of Jay Briscoe and Kevin Steen from Death Force on Five Night 2. In such little time, they did so much. And it was very stiff. That's why I love Team Big Japan in this tournament. And again, Team Big Japan goes to the semifinals. I really enjoyed this match a lot. The rating of Olador is overall, I would say, was a little disappointing. I mean, I guess my hopes were a little too high. But it wasn't just a Kota Ibushi match. The first raid of Oladores with Ares, Jigsaw, Player Dose. I forgot the fourth person again. That was also a very, very, very good match. Very underrated. This was just kind of okay. It was a little too short. Um, came down to Abbasis and Matt Cross. Plus, again, Malco was a little botchy. Uh, you know, you don't have like the most experienced type flyers here. Matt Cross, not as good as he used to be. 
fucking phone. This was still a, a, a good match. I would give it three stars. I enjoyed it. Next we get possibly my favorite match of the whole tournament. Los Perros de Mal versus the BDK. This was so, so, so awesome. I'm giving this three and a half stars just for the awesomeness. Even though the match quality was probably like three, two and three quarters. Kuihei was so funny during this whole match. Picking on Aries, picking on Claudio. He had a confrontation with Torsas, which was awesome. My only gripe about this match is that they made Alebrije look like a bitch compared to Torsas. Like, Torsas just kept slapping him around and threw him down. I thought they should have played that up a little more, that he's... He's like one of the only people in the Chikara roster. Well, he's not on the roster, but on this whole tournament, that's actually comparable in size to Torsus. Instead, every time that encounter, Torsus just beat him up. This match was just so much fun to watch. So, so much fun to watch, which is why I love Chikara. Three and a half. Daniels and Hallowicken. For all you Daniels Nuthuggers, he had a mediocre match and probably the second worst match in all three nights. Because, again, I don't count the red, 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 red match. He had 15 minutes, and it just didn't work that well. Again, my same complaint to Daniels every time. He never elevated his pace. He kind of stayed standing at that level. Hollowicken tried to elevate it, and Daniels wouldn't follow. And it made eh, it wasn't, didn't work that well. Now, people have been telling me, oh, it's Chikara. Daniels' gimmick doesn't work in Chikara. While he was serious, Hollowicken was serious. They played it up like, you know, how he has to take on all comers. Night 2 is a little more comedic, so I'll give that one a break. But this, I cannot. So yeah, two and three quarters. Eh. Fist versus Team Osaka Pro. Very, very, very fun match. This got the loudest This Is Awesome chant of the whole tournament. I don't really think it deserved it. But it was still very good because the crowd was super into it. I'll give it an extra quarter star rating. Three and three quarters really liked it. Second rate of Volador's match was borderline great. This was so much fun to watch. I kind of thought Frightmare should have won. Well, I know why he didn't. I can understand why he didn't. But Ophidian, I, I just... I, I don't really see Ophidian as that, like, king of the high flyers type of guy. I mean... I don't see him as, like, a contender to win it, so I don't know. I thought Rich Swan was very good. I'd never seen him before. Three and three quarters, though. Second best match of the night. Really, really enjoyed this. And then we get possibly the best match of the whole tournament. The Colony versus the first BDK team of Tim Downs, Pinky Sanchez, Lince Dorado. This was great. Awesome action. Very stiff. The crowd was super into this. And when the Colony won, oh, my God, did that place erupt. Because this was the first time the BDK had lost. I think they lost once or twice by DQ. But this is the first legit time where they had been pinned in the ring. So the crowd erupted. This was just a great, great, great match. Probably the best match of the whole tournament. I gave it four stars. Check this match out. So much fun to watch. I could even give it four and a quarter. I thought it was that good. Next we get night three. Oh, wait, hold on. That's night two. Night two is a great show in and of itself like it was last year. I thought, I thought it was better. I thought this was better than every Chikara show last year except the anniversary of Yang. So yeah, but pick it up. This is definitely a must buy. Night two, and now we finally get to night three. Now I, I thought the second BDK team should have gone to the finals. I didn't know they were gonna fight the Colony. I thought the, I had the bracket mixed up in my head. Cause look at this cover. That's why I thought they were going to the finals. That's Pink Ant, by the way. Um, I just thought, I just thought that the first BDK team was a little too obvious. That's just my opinion. But yeah. So, but this was still, this was still, a very, this was a very fun night. Osaka Pro Colony was a little too short. I thought it could have been a little longer, but I understand they both, they had to fight, Colony had to fight in the main event. So three stars for that. Team BDK versus Big Japan, a match I was really looking forward to. I thought it was really fun for what it was. Oh my, oh, what's his face? One of the Big Japan guys was about to German suplex Torsus, and I was going to jump up and yell. Because he was lifting him up, and he almost did it. And then Aries elbowed him, and I was like, fuck, man. I really wanted to see that. Taylor Oriental was okay. Nothing special. It was fine, I guess. Taylor Oriental got a nice ovation for coming up. Chikara. Tag Team Gauntlet. This was long as fuck. This was 30-something minutes, and it was just too much. There were 10 teams. 10. I can, I, I can only give this three and a quarter. I just thought it dragged in parts, especially when the fist was out there. But in the end, uh, Hollow uh, Wicked and Frightmare Incoherence had beat... Sarah Del Rey and Daisy Hayes avenging their win over them because Sarah Del Rey and Daisy Rays lost by DQ for excessive violence and they finally beat them in this match. The story being that Hallowicken didn't want to attack any of the girls in the first match and he wasn't afraid to do it in this match, especially Daisy Hayes. And so that's another kink in the BDK armor. And then Incoherence also won the, they had three points after this, so they won the number one contendership to fight the BDK, which is going to happen at the Union City Show. By the way, if you live in the New York, New Jersey area, go to Chikara this Sunday, I think. It's going to be a great, great show. 
You can get the tickets out the door, I'm pretty sure. You'll have a good time, just go. Daniels at Kingston, this disappointed me a little. Not just Daniels, Eddie Kingston had a great promo before, as usual. But I really wanted to see like a great, good Eddie Kingston match. This one's still good though, three stars. Again, Daniels, disappointing. Young Bucks versus Quackensaw was awesome. Three and three quarters, probably the third or fourth best match of this whole tournament. Had a lot of fun watching this. Young Bucks, I would probably give big props this whole tournament. They only wrestled two nights, but those two nights they had the best or the second best match the whole night. Gotta give props to them. Cross fitting was a lot of fun. The ending was botched. So that's why I eh, didn't like it too much. But it was still a lot of fun to watch. A nice finals to the Rey de Voladores. Now the finals. This was a great, great match. This is either the best or second best match of this whole tournament. Again, a Colony BDK match. I, I wasn't really looking forward to it, but they did so much. A lot of cool spots. Great, great, awesome psychology and awesome storytelling this match. I don't have enough time to get into it. The ending was amazing. I really love it. I'm not going to ruin it. Just There's a new member of the BDK. That's all I'm going to say. And it was really, really great. Overall, I'd give Night 3 an 8.25 out of 10. And pick up this whole tournament, which I would probably give an 8.5 or an 8.75. So much fun. I'm Big Rifty 10. I'm out, guys.